In today's video, we're gonna talk about 9 of the best 3D scanning apps that we have selected for iOS users. And we're gonna only mention the ones that allow you to export your 3D scans for free. We're gonna start with Opal AI. This free app is a great choice for 3D scanning on iOS. It has got a really user-friendly interface that makes it easy to navigate. And one thing I particularly like about it is the cool animations and warnings it provides. For example, it will give you a heads up if you're going too fast while scanning, which can be very useful. Another great feature is that it supports multiple export formats, which means you can easily use your 3D scans in different software. For bigger environments and spaces, especially if you're planning to scan a game environment just like in the game I recorded, the iPad Pro is recommended. With the 13-inch model preferred, due to a better cooling, a brighter screen, and a slightly bigger battery. Next, we're gonna talk about Kiri Engine. This one has already been mentioned in a dedicated video that we made a few months ago, but we're gonna talk about it still because it is one of the best 3D scanning apps that you can find on both iOS and Android. This powerful tool allows you to capture 4K resolution PBR textures and detailed 3D scans targeting not only 3D printing enthusiasts, but also CG artists and game developers, especially working on Unreal Engine. This app is free to use, as you can get at least 3 free exports per week, in addition to different ways to earn more exports. You can do so by either completing curious tutorials, inviting friends to use the app, or by taking short quizzes. And as its name suggests on the App Store, Kiwi Engine also offers in-app editing tools that allow you to crop and fill holes of your 3D models, which can be really useful. Next, we have Widar, which also supports both photo scanning and LiDAR scanning. This app has a very minimalistic interface, no confusing buttons or text, but bother your ability to use the screen. So you will find two tabs, one for photo scan and another for LiDAR scanning, each having one button for starting to scan the object by slowly sweeping all around it and saving. After your data has been uploaded and processed, you will be able to download your 3D model. When you click on item, you can find it in the asset library scans of the YR community. But most importantly, your assets can be edited using the app's editing tools, such as changing position and rotation of the object, adjusting the brightness, saturation, and contrast of the texture, cropping the 3D scan, cleaning and sculpting it, and even compressing its size by reducing the quality of the mesh or the textures. Finally, this app also allows you to do 3D compositions in scene mode. By selecting the object you want to start your composition with, click on next and start adding items, effects, and lights. The free version allows for unlimited scans and compositions, in addition to access to all editing tools, unlimited video export, and more. But if you want to export with different 3D file formats, you will need to pay for a monthly subscription. Now we're gonna talk about Scaniverse. This cool iOS app includes everything you will need for 3D scanning and for free. So in August 2021, Scaniverse joined Niantic and all its features became free for everyone. Features include unlimited high definition 3D scanning, editing tools, augmented reality view, sharing and unlimited export to 3D formats such as FBX and OBJ, whether it be for 3D modeling software or game engines. Also, you can export your 3D scans in point cloud formats, and they are planning on adding E57 in the future. What is great about Scaniverse is that it has a large community, and you can share and discuss your scans with them by commenting and sharing tips and constructive feedback, and you can do that on Sketchfab. On a side note, the simple red highlight indicator means that the interface was not yet scanned which means you have to keep sweeping around your object in each way until you eliminate every right spot in the environment that you are scanning. Matascan is yet another great 3D scanning iOS app that offers free exports. With the free version, you get unlimited LiDAR scans and 5 photo scans per month. The export format is USDZ only, but it is easily convertible to either FBX or OBJ. Also, the interesting thing is that you can export HD turnable videos of your 3D objects, and with a monthly subscription, you get access to all the different export formats, in addition to 150 photo scans and 4K video exports. 
This app does a great job at capturing detailed textures and geometry, making it a strong player in the 3D scanning scene. And they have a really well designed explore page, which I really like, because it allows you to check other people's work, in addition to seeing their comments, and the ability to download what you need. And for advanced users and developers who want to include 3D scanning in their iOS apps, Abound Labs, the software company behind Metascan, provides access to Abound SDK with tutorials in order to get yourself started. Next, we have the 3D Scanner app. The 3D Scanner app is the most obvious one, and it is the first app that will probably pop up in the search, especially if you are looking for 3D scanning apps. The app does a great job overall. It has great details in geometry while still keeping everything optimized. In addition to accurate textures, easy export and sharing, and all that is gonna be for free. They provide detailed answers to frequently asked questions on their website, making sure you never feel lost or confused at any stage of the 3D scanning process. And similar to Opal AI, it has a nice red preview showing you what hasn't been scanned yet while scanning. But most importantly, it offers all the export formats that you need for different use cases. Another noteworthy 3D scanner app is called Modeler, which is a free app that currently relies on LiDAR technology only. This app takes a very minimalistic approach with its user interface, keeping things clean and straightforward, with multiple options for adjusting the 3D scan quality, whether it is geometry or texturing. It has multiple export formats including STL, Ply for Point Cloud, USDZ, and OBJ, which is cool. So with its simplicity, accuracy, and export capabilities, this app can be a reliable choice for users who want to delve into the world of 3D scanning. Now we're going to talk about an excellent 3D scanner app and for many use cases. So you probably have heard of Polycam. With a very large community, they are literally offer solutions for every industry, with the ability to do LiDAR scanning, photogrammetry, 360 photos for skyboxes, AR visualization, and so much more. Targeting fields such as architecture, engineering and construction, drone data 3D construction, VFX and 3D art, in addition of course to interior design. Polycam not only has the ability to do free 3D scanning, but also the results that it produces are very optimized. The algorithm does a great job in detecting flat surfaces to eliminate unnecessary polygons, making 3D files light and convenient. Last but not least, we have Canvas, which is in fact two apps for different user needs. This is more targeted towards professional ArcVis use cases. For example, if you are a homeowner looking to work remotely with home improvement professionals, then Canvas Lite can be the go-to app. All you gotta do is scan a room using the iPhone 8 or above, upload the scan, and your professional will receive a complete set of 3D measurements in their preferred format. However, if you are a professional with a LiDAR-enabled iPad or iPhone, you should check out Canvas LiDAR 3D measurements, with LiDAR technology making your measurements five times more accurate. And for the pricing details of Canvas, you're gonna pay per scan and the cost depends on the complexity and size of the area you are scanning, which I find better than other monthly subscription deals, unless you are working on huge projects. So guys, if you are interested in these apps, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.